15.3a, simplifying with radicals. Expressions with radicals. Anytime you have an expression with a radical, remember we must always simplify the radical first. And also remember that before reducing fractions, we have to be sure to factor first. This applies if there is more than one term. Meaning there's either an add or subtract in the problem. Let's see how this applies below. Here's example one. Let's start by first simplifying this radical. We have 175. 5 and 35, and then 5 and 7. So this gives us a prime factorization of 5 squared times 7. So now we have 15 plus 5 squared times 7 over 10. This gives us 15 plus 5 root 7 over 10. We cannot simply just start reducing the 15 and the 10. We first must factor out anything in common on top, meaning they both have a 5 in common, leaving 3 plus 1, which is not needed to be written, so just square root 7 over 10. Remember, when you factored something out, you must be able to multiply it back in and get back to what you had before. Now we can reduce, 5 goes into 5 once, and 5 goes into 10 twice. This leaves us with 3 plus square root 7 over 2. This is our final answer. Let's look at another example below. Here's example 2. Once again, we need to start by simplifying the radical. 48 breaks down to 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 2 and 6, and 2 and 3, which becomes 2 to the 4th times 3. Let's rewrite this. Now, when I pull out the 2's, I get 8 minus 2 squared square root 3 over 6. This gives us 8 minus 4 square root 3 over 6. Now, once again, I can't just start reducing because there is a subtraction here, which means there's more than one term. And we must factor something out. Let's factor out a 4, leaving us with 2 minus square root 3 over 6. Now we are able to reduce because the, the 4 is being multiplied. 2 goes into 4 twice, and 2 goes into 6 three times. This gives us 2 times 2 minus square root 3 all over 3. This isn't complete. We first must distribute any extra pieces back in, giving you 4 minus 2 root 3 over 3 as your final answer. Remember, when you have problems that have a radical and a fraction, you must first start by simplifying the radical. Then, if there's more than one term, you must factor out whatever is in common before reducing. 